I'm an addict for sneakers, 20s of Buddha and bitches with beepers in the streets I could reach her about What's good YouTube? It's your boy Nate Triple OG, often imitated, never duplicated, breaking you the best on feats in the game. Yo, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring the hell out of that notification bell so you can stay in tune with all the fire that I got coming. Let's go! Yo, so you already know what time it is. By the thumbnail, by the video, we gotta go ahead and talk about we got to go ahead and talk about it. Yo, the streets is not only watching, but they talking now. And this is what they're talking about. These joints right here. Boom! They're talking about the Fear Gods, man. Yo, the Fear Gods and the Yeezy 750s. Who did it better? Did Ye, did Ye do it better? Or did Jerry do it better? Now, we're going to go ahead and look at the details of the shoe. I'm definitely going to give you my opinion. Um, I'm definitely not going to do it on feet. Ah, I guess I could do one. But putting these joints on, man, that's 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 just another story in itself. But anyway, let's go ahead. We're gonna take it to the table. We're gonna talk about the shoes. You do know before we even go there, Jerry did help with this shoe. Now, as far as like what Jerry did, as far as helping with the shoe, that I do not know. I will do a little bit of research so that I can talk about it. But Jerry definitely did help with this shoe. And obviously, Yank didn't help with this joint. But let's go ahead, take it to the table. I'm gonna give my thoughts and we can have a discussion. Let's really talk about it. Let's go. Boom. Yo, we got both shoes right here. Kanye West versus Jerry Lorenzo. Lorenzo, ooh, tongue twister. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I hope that these laces are not like making you feel some type of way. Hold on, let me, let me go ahead and change this shoe right here real fast. Boom, all right, there we go. That's a lot better. So I want this battle to be as fair as possible and not as biased, because we all know, if you know me and you follow me on Instagram, you know that I am a Kanye West fan. You know what I mean? Maybe one of the biggest fans, I don't know. Anyway, the Yeezy 750 is a dope shoe. I believe these shoes came out in... Jeez, when did the when did the 750 come out? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So hold on. the Yeezy, okay, okay, okay. I got it. I can't believe I didn't know this off the top of my head. The Yeezy 750 came out in 2015 around June. I believe that was during Fashion Week in New York, and they released that original colorway over there in New York only. That's when the Adidas app was straight trash, and it has not gotten better to that matter. Anyway. The Yeezy 750, yo, I'm like a super duper fan of the shoe, but we have to talk about it. Some of the biggest problems with the 750 when they first came out was the situation right here with this young zipper. People were having problems putting this shoe on and zippers and everything were breaking. It was like straight ridiculous. Nobody knew what to do, especially if you had that, especially if you had that OG pair. They didn't come with that reinforced zipper like the Grey Gums and the, um, the the mocha colorway the uh the chocolate colorway it was just like a new silhouette a new thing i know a lot of people were talking trash when these yeezy 750s came out back in oh back in 15. uh everybody was calling them like ugg boots and then the shoe dropped and everybody went crazy you know there's iconic photos and i'll try to drop some in here when like certain superstars right now that weren't with uh, Nike or with Puma or if any of these other brands were wearing these 750s. This was the shoe to have. Two chains even made songs about it. One Yeezy boot, one Yeezy boost. It was like straight crazy. Some of my favorite joints. Anyway, yo, this shoe at the time when it released, it was like a big shock to the world. And you have to remember, this was the first shoe that Kanye dropped when he left nike you know what i'm saying now we know a lot of people will say that this shoe does not compare at all to nike's uh yeezy one or yeezy two you know what i'm saying but it is a dope shoe one of the collaborators that he did have was jerry lorenzo i could not find exactly what jerry lorenzo brought to the table but i'm sure it had to do something with shape we know that because we've seen other shoes that jerry lorenzo has had doing in his fear god collection i'll drop some pictures down um the shape you know that shape of the shoe it just looks so familiar to this pair right here so shape had to be a big deal these do come with boots in the bottom of them uh one of my favorite shoes and definitely like minimalistic branding that's always been a thing with kanye west when he's been over there with the yeezy line the 750 is like super fire they have not released these again um no more colorways have coming out have came out i don't know if this will be a shoe that they ever will retro but i think if they did retro the 750s i think it'd be amazing and especially if they did it at, on a wider scale i know some people hate that yeezys are released like blah 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 but anyway 
these joints is fire but let's go ahead and let's get over here and look at these fear guys though like boom triple black colorway yo this fear guy is dope you know what i'm saying this is a brand new silhouette from nike just in general and you know it is what it is now one shooter at the obviously the yeezy uh 3750 boost or whatever that's a lifestyle shoe this joint right here this is a basketball shoe it is actually meant to be worn on court but it is the first basketball shoe well not the first basketball shoe but a basketball shoe from nike that can translate to lifestyle nike doesn't have any new basketball shoes that you can wear on court and on feet and you know what i'm saying be able to like transfer your uh basketball shoes to your life style the only shoe that nike has ever created that was able to do that and i don't want to say what will ever not that they ever created but the main line of shoes that they created that did things like that was the jordan brand line from 1 through 14 and some of the numbers past 14 you could transfer over to lifestyle but jerry lorenzo he came over here he did this pair now some of the problems that this shoe did have back in the day when it well during the first release um which was a couple years ago uh the black pair that came out and the uh bone pair you know the bone pair was all leather right here so knowing what size and what size to get you know you had to really know the shoe and to spend the money on it just to find out was crazy um uh, the black pair that came out had glue stains all over the place they were like hella quality control issues now that is not the case with this pair right here the suede is superb as you can see i mean you can see me like go ahead and changing that you want to see that motion in the ocean you know this shoe is straight fire in my opinion smoked out so i already did a review you can uh, click this little button up here or something and you can go and check that out if you want to check it out but yeah the 750 is fire man brand new silhouette both these shoes are brand new silhouettes one from adidas one from nike um and they're both amazing but when we're talking about like who shoe is the best this is pretty much all opinion based now what i will say is this i believe that the the fear guy the fear guy won by jerry lorenzo is the more functional shoe as far as like sport is concerned yeah but if we want to talk about impact and you know i guess changing sneaker culture and like everything and like just giving you that feel you know the the black the uh, the black the triple black 750 would be the shoe that i say is more impactful you know what i mean this shoe is way more impactful it's uh easier to take off and put on <laughs> than this uh fear god if you don't know man it, it's straight crazy but yeah that pair this pair right here i believe is the better shoe functionality wise um tech wise because they totally two totally different shoes tech wise this shoe is better but let's go ahead let's take it back face to face boom so tell me what you guys are thinking which shoe did you pick was this shoe better or was it the uh, air fear god you know what i mean which shoe the yeezy or the air fear guy i really want to know which pair you think is better you know what i'm saying i like both pairs of shoes both pairs of shoes are definitely dope but if i had to pick one you already know i already picked my pair my pair to pick was the black 750 yo it's just i don't know it's more um i don't know i think it's just more stylish this one is also clean but technically this is a basketball shoe and i think the only thing that makes me pick this 750 i mean this 750 over this joint right here this is a workout to take off this joint is a workout to take off man 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 and i love this shoe i actually have four pairs of this so you guys think that's three six nine twelve that's twelve hundred dollars wait twelve thirteen fourteen that's fourteen hundred dollars off and that's if i pay box price for each pair you know what i mean fourteen hundred bucks easy you know, no, that's factual. And that's without tax. You know what I mean? So I do like this shoe. But hey, the 750 got them beat, in my opinion. Comment down below which pair you like and which pair. Which pair is the pair, man? I don't know, man. Yo, big shout out to Leaders and Adidas for the t-shirt right here. Yo, crazy. All-Star Weekend exclusive tee. And this joint got 3M all through it. Yo, it's crazy. Be a leader. Don't be a follower. That part. Anyway, let me give you guys a little bit of positive feedback before I leave. And I'm gonna hit you with this right here. Have to kind of take a step back for this one. Yo, so this is the feedback that I wanna leave you guys with. Yo, 
and this is real, man, and it took me a long time to understand this and to really get it through my head, you know what I mean? That there is no elevator to success. You gotta take the stairs, man. You gotta take the stairs. There's no elevator, you gotta take the stairs. It's been so many times that I thought I was ready for something, thought I deserved it, and I didn't get it when I thought I, thought I wanted it. Yeah, at the time, I did need those things, but it just wasn't my time. And you know, my time did come, you know what I mean? And I'm not saying you gotta wait for your time or you gotta get out of here and wait for a miracle. No, you gotta make those things happen. But just know you gotta put in the work, the groundwork to go ahead and get to success. You know, you gotta take the stairs. You gotta take the stairs. And if you do happen to get on the elevator, just know, go back. And if you already on the elevator and you already rising up, go back, take those, and go back down. Take the stairs, you know what I'm saying, and understand how you got there and what you did. Because look, if you take that elevator and you get to the top, when you fall, how you gonna get back to the top? You don't know what it took to get there. You didn't take the stairs. You didn't go through step by step by step by step by step to really understand, analyze, figure out, rework, and you didn't put that grind in. You didn't feel that pain, the sweat, the tears. Yo, I can go on a tangent for that. And yo, that's my life, you know. I can go on a tangent with all of that, and I, I'm not gonna do it to you guys. I'm not gonna preach. But anyway, thanks for rocking with me. Thanks for watching the video. Tell me what you like. Yo, you rocking with that fear guy? You rocking with that Yeezy? Holla at the kid. Again, giveaway coming soon. Website almost done we are almost done with the site it's gonna be so dope yo it is what it is thanks for rocking with the kid how about you guys next time peace